Hi guys. Damn. I am just out here in my new one dollar Hawaiian shirt joining enjoying the last vestiges of the hot December sunshine here on this 88 degree Monday December 9th 2019 here in the end times in the shithole in Garfield Texas so uh, for the first time in several days I've been over on the mainstream media news looking at all of the we are so fucked headlines good god almighty guys just just throw a dart at the mainstream media anymore and who needs Humpty Dumpty Tribe or Collapse Chronicles when you have the mainstream media uh, I, <laughs> I I don't even know why I bother doing this anymore uh, if, if anyone who doesn't get it so uh, after getting too overwhelmed on the mainstream media I decided well, why don't you just go over to your own email box Hambone, so uh, I want to share the newest uh, Vaz petition. We have a new petition from a Vaz to save the planet. But uh, I just want to update you from uh, I mentioned this uh, this. You know, this whack job, Trump tard, conspiracy, wacko, former friend of mine uh, down there in Mexico. So I guess I have gotten the final email from, uh, from this fucking bitch. This is, this, this is an eco-Nazi getting dumped by a Trump tard conspiracy wacko. Hambone. I really don't know what I ever did to you personally that made you so bent out of shape about me that even when years go by, you persist in foisting your odd opinions on me. You tried repeatedly to drive a wedge between me and Karen. Yeah, Karen and I hold different opinions about politics. Yes, Karen, I. Uh, does not uh, agree that Pizzagate and Sandy Hook were uh, <laughs> were real. That's what she means. And and uh, Karen is not a Trump tard. But we have always been on the same page when it comes to health and nutrition, etc. You probably didn't know that, Hambone, but you continued to tattle on me about Alex Jones or whatever else you could dig up in your eco-Nazi lexicon. In comparison, I find you the opposite of amusing. I really don't see what Lulu sees in you, but it's her choice to continue your inscrutable friendship. This will be my last email to you as I am blocking any more unwanted communiques from you. Sayonara! <laughs> oh, God. I think maybe I have finally gotten that fucking bitch out of my life. But anyway, after, uh, after reading my love letters, we have a message from, uh, you, you know that, I don't know how I ever got on this, but you know what I'm talking about. This is coming from whoever Christopher Schott at Avaz is. Okay. We have a new petition to save the planet. They're hoping for 500,000 signatures. They are at the halfway point, 255,151 clueless fucking morons have signed this petition. Take it away, Christopher. Dear friends, scientists just warned that the climate 
could be on the cusp of completely spiraling out of control here on an 88 degree day in December. From burning rainforest to melting ice caps, we could be close to hitting a series of climate tipping points that would trigger a nightmare that we cannot stop. But, but, we still have a brief window left to act. Warning, warning. Alert. Ten years to cut global carbon pollution in half. 30 to get it to zero. To do that, we urgently need massive investment in clean energy and green jobs. And Europe could be about to lead the way. <coughs> All right. In days, <coughs> the EU will propose a game-changing, a game-changing green deal that could spark a global climate revolution. But fossil fuel blockers have derailed key parts of the deal once before. So let's build massive backing and deliver it with polls showing huge public support across Europe, then push countries everywhere <coughs> to get on board to save everything we love. Avoiding climate catastrophe. Avoiding climate catastrophe can only happen with massive investment in green technology and jobs to switch our entire economy away from filthy fossils. That is why the idea of the Green Deal could be so powerful making zero carbon targets legally binding and ensuring that no one is left behind. Winning Europe is the best way to launch a cascade of green new deals across the planet to make our vision of a world run on 100% clean energy a reality with a massive global campaign opinion polls showing huge support in hard hitting ads in key media outlets we will make sure all global leaders no people everywhere are demanding action to tackle the climate crisis. <coughs> this is our moment of truth. We can stand on the sidelines or fight for our future. Right now, right now at this very minute, fossil fuel lobbyists are doing all they can to undermine this amazing idea. So let's stand up and defend it for us, for our children, and for generations to come. We are standing on the cusp of a new decade, and it is one that will make or break our future. If we rise to the climate challenge, we will have turned a crisis into something beautiful that will move us closer to the world we want. Let's make this a climate tipping point to be proud of the moment 
we turned away from carbon for good. With hope, with hope and determination, Christoph, Bert, Alice, Pascal, Marie, Melanie, Luis, and the rest of the Avise team. There you go. So uh, I'm going to put the link on here <coughs> so you can be clueless fucking limp dick lefty greeny number 255,100. <coughs> 52 <coughs> to sign this pledge. Scientists just warn the climate could be on the cusp of spiraling out of control, but in days Europe will propose a game-changing renewal. Oh, I'm sorry, this is So where is the actual pledge? Okay, I'm signing now. Okay. Here is the pledge. <clears throat> this is to EC President, I'm not even sure what EC, I thought it was EU, to EC President Ursula von der Leyen, European heads of state and leaders across the world. This is our message to you. <clears throat> the science is clear. This is our last window to act, to stop climate catastrophe. So we call on you to adopt Green New Deals to transform our economies and our societies to a 100% clean and sustainable future. At minimum. At minimum, they must include binding commitments to number one, end carbon pollution by 2050 with ambitious reductions by 2030 to keep warming below one and a half degrees C. Get that squirrely like that. To keep warming below one and a half C. Okay, <clears throat> binding commitment number two, protect and restore 50% of the planet for nature and sustainably manage the rest. <clears throat> binding commitment number three, unleash investment to green, to green our energy, transportation, housing, food systems, and jobs. Binding commitment number four, green our taxes, green our taxes, and stop subsidizing fossil fuels. Binding commitment number five, transform the economy with innovative new finance and taxation solutions. And number six, leave no one behind with a fair and just transition for all communities, workers, and lower income nations. All right, well, we're actually up to 271,000 for, I'm sorry, 510. And uh, there you go, we have 23,000 shares on Facebook and 3,267 shares on Twitter to save the planet.
Anyway, the sun is going down here in Garfield, Texas as the 88 degree day begins to cool off. My back is completely soaked in sweat. And uh, it is getting damn close to margarita time here in the end times. Get out there and enjoy your margaritas while you still can. And of course, we all know what tomorrow is. It could be D-Day in the Doomosphere as the new YouTube, or is it YouTube or Google user terms of service come into play tomorrow we will do a carnage roundup of the Doomosphere on Wednesday assuming I have a channel and one more time guys and for any of you who have missed this if I do go black if my channel gets ripped down tomorrow uh, I will I have already set up <clears throat> A backup channel over at Vimeo.com, the Hambone Little Tail channel, where I will be moving Humpty Dumpty Tribe to. If not the Humpty Dumpty Tribe channel at Vimeo.com, that one was stolen from me by somebody out there, huh? Imagine that creating a Humpty Dumpty Tribe channel on Vimeo. And uh, so anywho's, come see me over at the Hambone Little Tail channel over there if Humpty Dumpty Tribe takes a swan dive tomorrow that at least I got you to sign a petition to save the planet from climate catastrophe before I was yanked down. Bye guys.